Yellowstone eruption is overdue. So what will happen if Yellowstone supervolcano blows? This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. Well, we know that there's an upswelling, a bulging of the magma chamber. The surface of Yellowstone is bulging. And that is a sign that something is increasing pressure underneath the earth in the area of Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone is also on the ring of fire, according to the geologists. It is one of the supervolcanoes, volcanoes that are on the ring of fire. We also have a nearby supervolcano in California, the Long Valley Caldera. They're very close to each other. This is the ring of fire, as you can see. Yellowstone may one day wreck apocalyptic annihilation across the Earth. So we're actually overdue for another Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, are we? Well, according to Michio Kaku, professor says, yes, we are overdue. Now, a global disaster never witnessed by mankind may one day explode over Yellowstone National Park. That's the location of the supervolcano. Ordinary volcanoes can kill thousands of people and even wipe out entire cities. But it's thought a supervolcano, such as the one lying dormant under Yellowstone, could kill a billion and flatten North America. The three large Yellowstone volcano mega eruptions have previously unleashed apocalyptic devastation. The first one, Armageddon like explosion, took place 2.1 million years ago. This was followed by a supervolcano eruption 1.3 million years ago, and what is eastern Idaho today, and the most recent violent eruption threatened to split the U.S. approximately 640,000 years ago, forming the Yellowstone caldera as we know it today in the process. This means Yellowstone eruptions have historically taken place approximately every 600 or 650,000 years, leaving some to fear Yellowstone is now overdue another eruption, one of them being Professor Michio Kaku. Quote, a super eruption is the world's biggest bang, end quote, says Professor Bill McGuire of the Benfield Gregg Hazard Research Center in the University of London. He says it's a volcanic explosion big enough to dwarf all others and with a reach great enough to affect everyone on the whole planet, end quote. Scientists believe Yellowstone is now one of the most unpredictable and deadly threats faced by humanity. The scientific team, team studying the effects of Yellowstone's last eruption suggests the volcano could blow a far faster and previously thought far faster. In other words, once, once things start rolling, it could take two weeks. University of Arizona scientists examined the commonly held assumption Yellowstone would prepare to blow over several centuries. Researcher Hannah Shamlu said, it's shocking how little time is required to take a volcano system from being quiet and sitting there to the edge of an eruption. Fortunately, there currently are no indications Yellowstone is preparing to enter anytime soon. This is despite the pessimistic estimates that supervolcano is thousands of years overdue, Michael Poland, the geophysicist at the Cascades Volcano Observatory, said, We see interesting things all the time, but we have not seen anything leading us to believe that the sort of magmatic event described by the researchers is happening. When Yellowstone last erupted 630,000 years ago, the supervolcano spewed an incredible 240 cubic miles worth of ash and rock. A much smaller eruption, and the last one on record, took place around 70,000 years ago, and a consensus of scientists believe if Yellowstone were to erupt soon, the eruption would be on a solar scale. Dr. Till said it would most likely be one of the smaller ones. If we were looking for warning signs, that's what we would be looking for.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.